Hi. Hi. So in uh, so today I am going to make a sort of small tutorial and uh, will uh, repeat it uh, the next and uh, after the days uh, to uh, go through all problems uh, of the type which can be found in the final exam. Uh, just uh, let us look again how they are solved and uh, maybe some things uh, will be a little bit new uh, but not principle. Uh, so uh, today we start from the first order linear equations. Now the simplest equation, let me uh, give you example of the simplest equation, uh, du dt minus 8 du dx equal 0. Here, now say x in r on the whole line, uh, t uh, more equal than 0. Uh, and the initial condition, u of x 0, equals no given function f of x. So we have uh, this equation and want to find its solution. Now what is written here? Uh, let, let me remind you that this is, uh, let us uh, uh, define the vector a equals one, uh, I'm sorry, it is x component is minus a and uh, t component is 1. And then what is written here is derivative of the function u in the direction of this vector. Yes? And so uh, uh, our equation is uh, derivative of uh, along this vector a of the function u of x t equals zero. Now this vector is the same. It does not depend on uh, x and t. And uh, this means uh, that if you draw a family of uh, straight lines which are parallel to this vector, uh, uh, vector a, then uh, this means that the function u is constant along each characteristic. So uh, what is characteristic? Uh, characteristic is given by the differential equation dx dt equals, no, in this case, minus a, this coefficient. Uh, so, solution x of t equals sum x0 minus 8t. This is solution. Uh, so, uh, we can uh, uh, if you take any point here, x t, then a corresponding point x zero is found by x zero equals uh, x uh, plus eight t. Yes, x zero x plus eight t. And so uh, we see that uh, u of x t since it is constant along characteristic, uh, it equal to the uh, u at the point x0, 0. zero. This is f of x0. Yeah? So we found solution. Uh, so uh, u of xt equals f, what is x0 is this of x plus 8t. u at this point is equal to f at this point. 
So solution, the initial condition is, uh, uh, say, shifted uh, along, uh, transported along characteristic, no constant along characteristic. So this is uh, the simple, simplest equation. Uh, now let me consider a little more involved one. Uh, question two. Uh, it is d u d t. Uh, uh, let us write minus x d u d x equals zero. And initial condition u of x zero is again f of x. So again, now uh, the vector a along which we differentiate a uh, is dependent on x t equals. Uh, uh, minus x 1 yes and this vector is uh, tangent to the uh, characteristic which is integral uh, curve of uh, the uh, equation dx dt ordinary equation equals minus x No solution of this equation, which is a characteristic, equation of characteristic, are the following. x of t equals x0 e minus t. So the picture is like this. Uh, x0 and x of t, x0 e minus t. So it is a curve which is exponentially uh, approaching uh, the uh, t-axis. So for different uh, point x0, we have different characteristics. Yeah? And from here also, and even the t-axis itself is a characteristic. Yeah? So if you have here the point xt, we have to find the point, uh, okay, let it be x0 uh, uh, on the x-axis, uh, and then uh, u of xt equals f of x0, uh, no, u of x0, 0, zero equals f of x0. Yeah. Uh, f of x0 and uh, uh, so now we have to find uh, uh, x0. If x of t is x0 e, e, e minus t, x equals x0 e minus t, then x0 equals e uh, to the t times x. And so we have solution. zero uh, uh, u of x t equals f of uh, uh, e to the power t times x. Yeah? So if say uh, initially for t equals zero uh, uh, solution was not something like this, uh, then uh, uh, this factor e to the power t it is growing and so solution becomes more and more concentrated, like this. Something like this. Uh, so this is the this is solution. Uh, this way 
we solve this equation. Now consider next equation which is more interesting. how to solve this equation. Here uh, again vector, uh, the characteristic equation, solution is constant along characteristics and characteristic equation has the form uh, D uh, characteristic equation dx dt equals x square. No, dx divided by x square equals dt uh, minus 1 over x equals t uh, minus t0. No, plus or minus doesn't matter. Uh, let me write minus. Uh, uh, 1 over x equals t0 minus t, x equals 1 of t0 minus t. So this is equation of characteristics. Now uh, let us look how it looks. Uh, if t0 uh, Uh, is positive, then uh, we have the following thing. T0 is positive. So 1 divided by T0 minus T is hyperbola. Yeah? It is uh, X. It is T x is 1, t0 minus t is hyperbola. Uh, for different t0, uh, we have different hyperbolas. Uh, so we have uh, this uh, bunch of lines. Now, if t0 is negative, then um, uh, x equal 1 of t0 minus t, if t0 is negative, uh, then uh, uh, x is uh, negative for t uh, more than, my, uh, than uh, t0. Yes? Uh, 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 yes. For uh, uh, one moment, uh, if uh, t more than t zero, then t zero minus t is um, negative. Uh, so uh, it is this. So we have uh, this curve. It is also hyperbola, uh, but this hyperbola goes uh, this way. And uh, here uh, you have uh, this family of hyperbolas. Uh, they are shifted uh, 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 No, it is better to do this way. It 
is x equal, if this is t, uh, 1 over t0 uh, minus t. So if this is t0, uh, then uh, here uh, for t less than t0, it goes this way. For t more than t0, it goes this way. Yes? And so, uh, changing t0, uh, we have uh, here a family of hyperbolas uh, of, of, for positive x. They are going this way, and each of these hyperbolas has some asymptote. Uh, to the left, they go this way. Yeah? Um, so, uh, uh, again, if you take any point here, xt, we have to find uh, here the intersection point x0. Uh, how to find this x0? Uh, uh, we have to find uh, x0. Uh, Uh, yes, uh, so we have uh, to, uh, uh, this is solution of our equation, here we have parameter t0. So first we have to find t0 if you know x and t. So we have 1 over x equals t0 minus t, t0 equals uh, 1 over x plus t. Yeah? Uh, so we found t0, and then we have to find uh, the intersection point x0. x0 equals x of 0. Uh, so x of t equals 1 over t0, because t is uh, 0, and t0, where is t0, equals 1 over uh, 1 over x plus t, equals we multiply by x, x divided by 1 plus xt. Uh, and so uh, the characteristic of our equation, uh, which uh, goes through the point xt, uh, crosses the x-axis at the point x divided by 1 plus xt. And correspondingly, u of xt equals f of x0, 0, zero equals uh, uh, f, uh, u of x0, zero, 0 equals f of x0, and x0 is here, equals x, uh, f of x divided by 1 plus xt. Uh, great. Uh, so this way we uh, found a solution. Uh, but um, it is not so uh, trivial uh, how to find solution uh, because uh, let us uh, consider again our picture. This, uh, these are the integral curves, uh, the characteristics, which are hyperbolas here, and here they are hyperbolas like this. Uh, Uh, 
the problem is uh, that for some if x times t equals minus 1 uh, so uh, one moment I will take a color uh, pen So you see here uh, 1 plus xt. So if x times t uh, is uh, less than, uh, is equal, uh, x times t equal minus 1, then denominator becomes 0. So this is this. Hyperbola xt equals minus 1. Uh, and so what will happen uh, if um, uh, we are on this hyperbola? It is one of uh, hyperbolas. It corresponds to t0 equal 0. Yes? Uh, t0 equal 0. Uh, then uh, the characteristic which goes through this curve uh, does not uh, intersect uh, the x-axis. Yeah, this is the x-axis. Does not intersect, so we cannot uh, 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 say what is uh, the uh, value of solution here. We can uh, find a solution for all xt below this hyperbola, but not on this hyperbola. And what if you are uh, over hyperbola, over this hyperbola? Uh, so if you uh, find uh, the hyperbola which is going through this point uh, xt uh, solution of this, then this hyperbola will uh, go, uh, it has asymptota, horizontal asymptota, uh, with uh, positive um, ordinata. So this uh, uh, hyperbola will never cross the uh, x-axis. Uh, and uh, what does it mean? The formula gives us something. Uh, but uh, this is the fake solution, because for uh, a point above this red hyperbola, uh, this formula gives, in fact, a point, uh, 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 so here, uh, 1 plus xt is negative. Yes? Uh, so it will be some point here, uh, on quite a different uh, hyperbola. Uh, it is, uh, we have to uh, take this, uh, so if you draw a hyperbola uh, which has the same asymptota but from the right, so uh, this will be this point of intersection, uh, which is not uh, the uh, uh, point uh, which we uh, need here. Yes? Uh, so here, uh, if you uh, uh, use this um, if you use uh, this expression, uh, this formula, uh, then uh, on this red hyperbola we'll have uh, some uh, no discontinuity of solution because we jump. Uh, so what happens when the point uh, approaches uh, hyperbola uh, from below? Uh, the numerator stays, say, constant. The denominator uh, goes to uh, uh, plus zero from the positive uh, direction, yes. Uh, so this goes to, a uh, point of intersection goes to minus infinity. Uh, yes, so the hyperbola intersect, uh, but farther and farther as uh, we approach this red hyperbola. 
Yes, uh, uh, then uh, if you cross this red hyperbola, then uh, this formula uh, gives us uh, uh, the point which jumps from, say, minus infinity to plus infinity and then starts uh, moving here. Uh, but the function uh, here on the negative uh, half line may have nothing to do with values of function on the uh, positive half line. Yes, so uh, this means uh, uh, that in fact uh, we can say nothing about solution above this red hyperbola. Yes, so solution is defined for xt in this domain. Let me uh, draw this domain, uh, which is uh, above and uh, below and to the right of this red hyperbola. And here solution is not defined. Yes? Uh, we can uh, say, uh, find any function uh, which depends only uh, on, uh, say, parameter uh, of this hyperbola, so which is constant on each of these, uh, on these hyperbolas. Uh, but it is not defined by the initial conditions. Yes? So, in this case, solution is not unique. So, we uh, me met uh, this interesting situation uh, even in the simplest case. Okay. So, I fear it may be a little bit uh, misleading, no, uh, but <coughs> uh, uh, no such situations are uh, usual uh, that we have to think what happens. So consider the next example. on x and t, it is just an example, and the uh, characteristic equation is the following, uh, dx dt uh, equals minus t divided by x. Now let us solve, try to solve this characteristic. Uh, so multiplied by, uh, so x dx equals minus t dt, or x dx plus t dt equal zero. Uh, what is this? D uh, x square plus t squared divided by 2 equal 0. x squared plus t squared equals constant. Yes? So, this is the curve in the xt plane, uh, which is just half of a circle. Yes? And solution is uh, constant along uh, each of these along each of these uh, uh, semicircles. Uh, no constant or something 
more interesting. Let us see. Uh, if you have a point xt, yes, then uh, x square plus t square equals c. So, and here the point x zero. So we have x square plus t square equals uh, x zero square plus zero because here t uh, equals zero. So x0 equals square root x square plus t square. But now uh, uh, it is x0 and there is another point minus x0. Yes? And the function f of x can be different at the point x0 and minus x0. So the question is what to choose. Now, if you want to choose, so just look here uh, that uh, if t is growing, then the motion along the characteristics in the right part of characteristics, right half of t, x positive, uh, moves in this direction from right to left. And uh, if you uh, are in the left part, then it moves in opposite, from left to right. Yeah? So if you consider propagation of initial condition uh, from x0 and farther along this characteristic, then we reach uh, the uh, t-axis uh, both from here and from here. But something uh, wrong happens on the t-axis. Uh, here x is 0 and here x is in the denominator. Yes, this means uh, that we have to exclude uh, the t-axis. On t-axis uh, this uh, uh, factor becomes infinite and uh, it makes no sense. So we have to consider this equation separately in the right part. Uh, right half plane and left half plane, yes? Uh, so this means uh, that if you start from uh, x positive, you have to uh, uh, take x0 here, it is x uh, more than 0, and uh, x0 equals minus square root x square plus t square, if uh, x negative. Or we can write x0 equals uh, uh, sine of x times square root x square plus t square. No, sine of x equals say 1 if x positive uh, minus 1 if x is negative. So this is uh, the standard function. Uh, so this is a uh, correct, uh, uh, correct uh, say, uh, solution for uh, where to take uh, this point x0. And then the uh, solution is now the following. f uh, u of xt equals f of this f x0 equals f of the, uh, what is written here? Uh, sine of x square root x square plus t square. Yes? So this is solution. No, uh, if uh, the function is uh, a not even function, then uh, the value of the limit uh, when you go from the right along the x and from the left will be different. So uh, the solution will be discontinuous along the t-axis. But uh, uh, anyway, uh, t-axis does not enter in our consideration because uh, the uh, equation is uh, valid uh, just outside of t-axis. 
so uh, we uh, 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 know this formula gives a solution. Uh, no, uh, f, uh, if you are asked for some solution for some particular f, no substitute here f. So say it is f of x equals say e to the power x. Uh, in this case, u of x t equals e to the power sine of x times square root x squared plus t squared. Voila. One minute. Okay. Consider uh, the last uh, problem today. tricky problem uh, uh, is the following problem du dt minus 2 du dx equals 0 but this time I consider this equation on the half line x uh, and t uh, non-negative and initial condition u of x 0 equals f of x the same problem but this time it is on the uh, half line. So the characteristic uh, dx dt equals minus 2 uh, x equals x0 minus 2t. And uh, uh, let me draw a picture. Uh, x it is t, this is x, x equal x0 minus 2t. It looks like this. Uh, uh, so it is xt and corresponding point x0. Uh, so x0 equals x plus 2t and the uh, solution is u of xt equals u of x0 0, zero uh, because solution is constant along characteristic so u of xt equals f of uh, uh, x plus 2t yeah. So solution is defined everywhere in the domain x positive and t positive because corresponding characteristic for every such x t somewhere uh, crosses uh, the mm, uh, semi line uh, uh, x equal uh, x more or equal zero. And consider, let us say, 5a and 5b, uh, very similar equation, du dt plus 2 du dx equals 0. And again, x 0, t more equal than 0. Uh, u 
of x0 equals fx. So here uh, the characteristic equation uh, dx uh, dt equals 2 uh, x equals x0 plus 2t. So the picture is this. Uh, x equal x0 plus 2t. So if we have x0, uh, then this is characteristic. x equals x0 plus 2t. Uh, in particular, one characteristic goes uh, through the origin. Uh, x0 equals x minus 2t. And so we have uh, u xt xt uh, equals f of x0 f of x minus 2t. But, pardon, uh, x minus 2t can be negative if x is less than 2t. So, if x is here uh, above this line, let me draw it in red, this characteristic which is going through uh, 0. Then, um, if x is here, then x minus 2t is negative. And uh, the function f is not defined there. So this problem uh, has unique solution in this domain, x more than 2t. And uh, has, uh, it gives nothing here in this domain. So we have to add some new boundary condition to define uh, uh, solution here. So now let us uh, define here uh, another solution u of 0 t equals say h of t. Yes, so if characteristic uh, through the point x t goes uh, <coughs> is above uh, this red line uh, then it crosses uh, the um, uh, crosses the uh, t-axis at the point t0, and uh, so let us define t0. Uh, so uh, so x is x0 plus 2t divided by 2. Uh, t equals t0 plus x over 2. Uh, uh, so uh, t0 equals t minus x over 2. And uh, again, uh, if x is, if our point xt is below uh, this red line, then uh, t0 becomes negative, it is like here. Yes, so uh, we have no data here. And here we have datum on the x-axis. Uh, so if t0 is positive, then uh, we can use this new boundary condition. And in this case, uh, u of xt equals h of t minus x over 2. And so uh, our solution is uh, more uh, no, uh, written uh, <coughs> a little longer. So for this uh, concrete problem, u of xt, we have two cases. It is uh, 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 f of f of x minus 2t if x 
minus 2t uh, more or equal than 0. And there is h of uh, t minus x over 2. Uh, t minus x over 2 more or equal than 0. No, uh, uh, if you uh, multiply it by 2 and change place t and x over 2, change signs, then you see that it is uh, the same as uh, or uh, x minus 2t less or equal than 0. So these are two, uh, I would say, cases which have uh, one overlap uh, when x minus 2t is exactly equal to uh, 0, then uh, we have uh, one and the same characteristic which goes through the origin. In this case, x0 is 0 and t0 is 0. And uh, to have a unique solution uh, and which is uh, continuous, uh, we need one condition here. Uh, consistency condition. Uh, f of 0 equals h of 0. So the function f on this half line uh, at the point 0 should be equal to the function h on this half line at the point of 0. If this function uh, are continuous here, uh, f is continuous here and h is continuous here, so if f in c uh, 0 infinity from 0 to including uh, 0 uh, and h is c 0 infinity is here and f of 0 equals h of 0 then this function u of xt is continuous this is our conclusion no uh, I don't see what can be uh, extracted more in uh, from the type of equations uh, next time we consider further uh, problems in the string equation and for now let me finish and I will send you a, a, a problem set which will include some problem or one or two problems from uh, this uh, 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 about uh, the uh, first order linear equations. Uh, for now, let's finish. Have a good time. Bye.